You don't want to sit there. Kristen Hadley's boyfriend is going to sit there. Oh. He farts a lot. It's not... Is that your natural hair color? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Thank you. See, this is the color I want. This is Damien. He's almost too gay to function. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice wig, Janice. What's it made of? Your mom's chest hair. I'm Janice. What? Own it. How do you spell your name again, Caddy? It's Katie. C-A-D-Y. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Caddy. Of course, <laughs> all the plastics are in the same gym class. Who are the plastics? They're teen royalty. If North Shore was Us Weekly, they would always be on the cover. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Damien sat next to her in English last year. An evil takes a human form in Regina George. I'll be fooled, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? The greatest people you will ever meet. Oh my god! Okay, you have to do it, okay? And then you have to tell me all of the horrible things that Regina says. Regina seems sweet. Regina George is not sweet. She's a scum-sucking road horse. She ruined my life. She's fabulous, but she's evil. Hey, get out of here. Oh my god, Danny DeVito, I love your work. Why do you hate her? What do you mean? Regina, you seem to really hate her. Yes, what's your question? Well, my question is, why? Regina started this rumor that Janice... Damien! <laughs> Shall we not? Now, look, this isn't about hating her, okay? I just think that it would be like a fun little experiment if you were to hang out with them and then tell us everything that they say. What do we even talk about? Hair products. Ashton Kutcher. Is that a band? Will you just do it, please? Okay, fine. Do you have anything pink? No. Yes. Burn book where they write mean things about all the girls in our grade. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Those bitches. Caddy, there are two kinds of evil people. People who do evil stuff and people who see evil stuff being done and don't try to... A couple weeks and I would love... she do that? Because she's a life ruiner. She ruins people's lives. When we were 13, she made people sign this petition saying that Janice was... Damien, please! Look, she's not gonna get away with this again, okay? We're gonna do something. We are. Regina George is an evil dictator. Now, how do you overthrow a dictator? You cut off her resources. Regina would be nothing without her high-status man candy. <laughs> Technically good physique. An ignorant band of loyal followers. Now, Caddy, if we want this to work, you are gonna have to keep hanging out with them like nothing is wrong. Can you do it? I can do it. Okay, let's rock this bitch. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even... Whatever. So then in eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was, like, weirdly jealous of him. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? So then for my birthday party, which was an all-girls pool party, I was like, Janice, I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. I mean, I couldn't have a lesbian at my party. There are going to be girls there in their bathing suits. I mean, right? She was a lesbian. So then her mom called my mom and started yelling at her. It was so retarded. And then she dropped out of school because no one would talk to her. When she came back in the fall for high school, all of her hair was cut off and she was totally weird. And now I guess she's on crack. And the final nominee. For I couldn't this help year's myself. It was so easy. Is Katie Heron. Damien, you put me in there too. That's not part of the plan. I didn't put you in there. You mean I'm really nominated? Dirty little liar. I'm sorry, I can explain. Oh, explain how you forgot to invite us to your party? Janice, I cannot stop this car. I have a curfew. You know I couldn't invite you. I had to pretend to be plastic. Okay, buddy, you're not pretending anymore. You're plastic. Cold, shiny, hard plastic. Curfew, 1 a.m. It is now 1.10. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? You know what? You're the one who made me like this so you could use me for your eighth grade revenge. God, see, at least me and Regina George know we're mean. You try to act like you're so innocent. Like, oh, I used to live in Africa with all the little birdies and the little monkeys. You know what? It's not my fault you're, like, in love with me or something. What? Oh, no, she did not. See, that is 
thing with you plastics. You think that everybody is in love with you when actually everybody hates you. Like Aaron Samuels, for example, he broke up with Regina, and guess what? He still doesn't want you. So why are you still messing with Regina, Katie? I'll tell you why, because you are a mean girl. You're a bitch. Here, you can have this and won a prize. Oh my God, it's her dream come true, diving into a big pile of girls. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, I've got an apology. So, I have this friend who is a new student this year, and I convinced her that it would be fun to mess up Regina George's life. So, I had her pretend to be friends with Regina, and then she would come to my house after, and we would just laugh about all the dumb stuff Regina said. And uh, we gave her these candy bar things that would make her gain weight, <laughs> and we turned her best friends against her. And then, uh, oh yeah, Katie, you know my friend Katie, she, uh, she made out with Regina's boyfriend and then convinced him to break up with her. Oh, God, and we, we gave you foot cream instead of face wash. And God, I am so sorry, Regina. Really, I, I don't know why I did it. I guess it's probably because I've got a big lesbian crush on you. Suck on that! Boo. No. What's up? Can I help you? You Puerto Rican? Lebanese. I feel that. And last year just wasn't important anymore. 